you guys both brought mentorships a few times and uh, I would imagine that really helps when you talk about making them, you know, I guess feel feel at home and, you know, part of the culture. So uh, could you talk a little bit more about the peer-to-peer, peer-to-peer programs and the impact that you think that they have? Uh, maybe we could start with you, Katie. Yeah, absolutely. So we try to have, um, well, we do have structured mentorship programs that align also to kind of those, those key communities that I was talking about. Um, and it's important to us to make sure that that mentorship exists throughout all levels, right, of our of our communities. So again, using the um, example within identity and access management, you're getting that training, and then you're also um, getting somebody who is going to help you, you know, really really understand, right? And I mean, it's one thing to take a training; it's another thing to actually be able to feel like you've walked away and you're able to apply it to your day to day job. That's why I think that mentorship is really important. It also, acts as a lifeline, right? So if you're out um, working with a particular client and you're up against a problem, uh, you have somebody that you feel comfortable with and have a relationship with that you can call up and say, hey, this is something that I don't really feel prepared to respond to, which of course we hope doesn't happen, but sometimes does, right? And so giving them somebody that can help them with that. And then we pair that up with um, our community approach, right? So we also give um, those people at all aspects of the mentorship program an opportunity to join in with community calls, right? Where they are able to to um, see presentations from other teams so that they can learn about what's happening um, with other groups, what other people's experiences are, and also give them an opportunity to present, which is also a great way to work on personal presentation skills in a safe place, right? Be able to kind of present and talk about some of the things that they're doing that they're excited about. Um, and, you know, that to me has been really successful for us, right? And it also gives um, our senior team members and our very technical staff an opportunity to help us grow um, our professional talent and really sort of the next generation of um, technical specialists. And that, you know, it really plays into, you know, some of these areas within cybersecurity. Well, most of them, you know, they can be very, they can be very niche, right? They're very specific. When we go in to help a client around identity and access management, we really need to make sure we're sending in people that have that deep expertise. And so that's about growing and sort of passing on that baton and raising each other up. And that's really become a, a deep part of our culture here. Yeah, is it similar uh, with you, Jason? Yeah, again, a lot of similarities. Um, we we definitely have uh, cyber leadership at the firm um, come to, and I'll, I'll talk specifically about our cyber core program. So we have different practitioners um, and so our cyber leadership team come and actually meet with the participants of the program. Um, in addition to that, we have folks who have graduated for, from our program who are now working maybe in a SOC or NOC or as an incident responder, come back and talk about how they're applying the skills that they learn through the program in their job on a day-to-day basis. Um, in addition to that, at the beginning of every single cohort, one of the first things that I do is plant the seed of once you've graduated from this program, we would love for you to come back and participate as a mentor. And every single individual that goes through a program has a mentor assigned. And the beauty of that is really we're building a community, but also they're they're assigned a mentor that literally just went through the same program. So they feel their pain, they understand the process, the ecosystem that we're using. Um, so, yeah, we definitely focus on providing different mentoring opportunities. In addition to that, the firm as a whole, outside of the CyberCorp program, we have tons of cyber engagement activities, events, info sessions, you know, um, you know, uh, sessions with leaders where they talk about, you know, some of, you know, their best practices, um, how they actually found cyber or if cyber found them and so on. So definitely a lot of mentoring uh, opportunities for our employees. New episodes of CyberWork are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to claim your free month of InfoSec skills. Sign up using the code CyberWork and you'll get unlimited access to hundreds of courses, hands-on labs, certification practice exams, skills assessments, and more. Use code CyberWork for InfoSec skills.